Hello, we've got a really nice example here of what is possible using the new composites in HDR Lite Studio. So here we've got what looks like a standard HDRI map and it's a composite light and let's have a look how this is constructed. So let's hide these areas and hide this and we've got our base HDRI map. This has been clamped with a light with a low pass blend mode that won't let past brightnesses of 70. So anything that gets above 70 in brightness is clamped using this light. Then we have three different regions of this HDRI map whose brightness uh, is above 70. And when you add all of these together, you end up with your original HDRI map brightnesses and content. But the great thing about it is you can pick any of these regions, any of these lights, and let's say you want to turn those off, or let's say this particular part of the map you want to make brighter. I now have individual control over each of these, what is effectively light sources coming from the HDRI map. So from a creative point of view, this gives me a lot more options when I load in a HDRI map of what I can actually do with it. So let's have a little look inside uh, this region here and see how this was constructed. So we edit the composite to see, and at the base we have the HDRI map. Above it we have a light that fills the canvas and its blend mode is set to add but with invert so this is a subtract so it is subtracting the value 70 from the whole canvas here. There's a new option here for uh, the blend mode add. Previously in HDR Light Studio when you used add or the invert which was subtract it would affect the colour of the underlying content as well. So you can see here, when we've used the subtract, the uh, image gets a lot more saturated. In order to enable this feature for dissecting the HDRI map, we added a blend channel option for the blend mode. And when you want to do this, you choose value. This means that we will only affect the values of the underlying content. We won't affect their colour. Um, and then this keeps everything correct such that when you add this content to the clamped HDRI map beneath it, uh, it will add up to the same result as the original HDR map, which is what we want. We don't want to change the saturation. So this light subtracts 70 from all the values. And then this top light here acts as a mask that enables us to define the region. And if I change the blend mode to over, you can see we've just got a simple rectangular uh, light and uh, we've used the blend mode multiply with the mask option on so everything outside of this light is considered black and then when you use that to multiply it acts like a mask. So we did that for each of the regions masking each area and then when you add that with each of these using add blend mode back to the original HDR with the low pass you can't actually tell the difference it's the same result but now everything is adjustable and if we go back at upper level we can see that all of these lights are sat within another composite light and then the advantage is we can change the brightness of that composite light to change the brightness of the whole HDR, uh, HDRI composition. And then we can change the uh, rotation of this using the longitude slider as well. Okay, so let's recreate what we just showed you from scratch so you can see the whole process. So here we've got a base HDRI map loaded in and we're now going to create a gradient background light but change the content to flat. We're then going to change the blend mode of this from the add 
We're going to leave it add, but turn on invert. Now what this does is it reduces the values by whatever the brightness is set to here. So we can use this blend mode to kind of judge the right level of low pass that we want to apply. So if we have this set to low, you can see that there's so many areas of this that are um, bright, there's no way I can isolate a particular region. But as I change the brightness of this and, and start to remove more brightness, we can start to clearly see a point at which we get um, islands of brightness that we can isolate. So in this case, a good value for this HDRI map is 70. So if I now change the blend mode to low pass, that gives me my ambient lighting and then everything above 70 will create those nice islands that we can isolate. So now we want to start making these islands of light. So what we'll do is we will duplicate each of these lights. And we will use the control key to select one of the um, one of those and we'll actually take the opportunity to rename one of these low pass so we know what that's doing but we'll select the other one and then we'll select using the control key holding that down and then select one of the base ones and we'll merge them to a composite so now we can see here we've got the base and then we've got a low pass so we can see what they're doing let's now go to the composite light So let's change the name of this to subtract. Okay. And we'll change the blend mode to add. And then we will invert this. Now you can see that the image looks very saturated when we use the uh, invert of the add. And in uh, HDR Light Studio Tungsten, we've added this concept of the blend channel control. So if we change this to value, the subtract will not affect the color of any of the pixels. It will only subtract value. And this is what we want in this case. So remember when using subtract for this kind of situation to change the blend channel uh, from color to value. Okay, so now we have a, a layer, um, we have a, a composite light that has all the values that are uh, above 70. So if this is added on top of the clamped HDRI map that's been clamped to the value 70, it should actually look the same because all the values added together should work. So if I solo this base HDR and then I unsolo that, you can see there's no change. So that means that we've got this right on this composite light. So the next thing to do is we want controllable regions of HDR. So I'm going to create another gradient background, change the content to flat, scale it down quite small, and change the blend modes to over so I can clearly see what I'm doing. And I'm now simply going to define this region here by scaling this light to cover the area that I want. And I'm going to change the brightness of that to 100 because when I use this to multiply, I don't want it to affect the brightness. So a brightness of 100 in HDR Light Studio is equivalent to timesing something by one. So that means when I change this to the multiply blend mode, I will not be affecting the brightness of this content. I now need to enable the mask option, which means that everything outside of my defined light is treated as black, which means then this light is acting like a mask. And I'm going to rename that light to mask. So this is great. I've now got this region of the map with everything that's above brightness 70 and I've masked it to this particular area that I want. So if we now go back 
I'll rename this region one. Now let's, to save a lot of work, duplicate this light. I'll call it region two. And then we'll duplicate that again. We'll call that region three. And now all we need to do is to edit and then we can change the region by changing where we're masking. So I can see what I'm doing. I'll change the blend mode of that mask to over and then I'll move it here. And then it's always best to make the light smaller than you need and then to scale it up so you can clearly see what region you are covering. And then we'll change the blend mode back to multiply. Make sure mask is on. Yes, so that's region two. And then we'll edit region three. Change the blend mode of that light to over. Move it over here. And then start small and scale up. And change the blend mode back to multiply. Make sure it's masking, yes. So that's great. So now if we solo the base HDR, and if we unsolo, we can see it looks the same, but we now have individual control over the brightness of each of these regions. Which from a creative point of view, when you're lighting a shot, is really great because it means I can do things like increase just the brightness of this reflection here. And I'm doing this in a, it's not physically accurate because if this was to brighten, it would have an effect on the rest of the room. That is true, but I get detail and information by brightening this area that gives it a sense of reality when you're looking at it in the subject. So I like the fact that I've got this creative control over these lights uh, that I didn't have before. And I only really before had the option to turn up and down the brightness of the entire map. Um, so the final thing to do is to select all of the lights. So I select the top one, hold the shift key, press the bottom one, it selects all of them. And if we merge, right click and merge those to a composite, we now have a single light that contains all of this adjustable content, but this light itself can also be adjusted. So I could change its brightness and I can change its longitude to rotate it around the subject. So that concludes showing you how to use the new composites feature in order to effectively dissect a HDRI map and create controllable pockets of light from that HDRI map. Thank you for watching.